Hey, this is John Brock with BrockWorks Technologies. Excited today to introduce you to Framer 2022. We've added some new features in here that I've been wanting for a long time to use in our operations, so uh, hopefully you'll like them. So first one is uh, the long-awaited polyline tool. So uh, traditionally in the past with Framer, you had to do one wall at a time. You had to choose its start and its end conditions. And now you can just do a polyline around the building. So let me show you how that looks like. So this is a new tool that we've added. It's the polyline wall tool. So if we engage that, I'm going to do a two by six wall, uh, single bottom plate, double top plate. I'm going to start out with one stud. I'm going to go California right in this case, but it'll alternate left and right as we go around. Uh, we're going to do um, half inch uh, OSB on the outside. I'm going to kill these offsets for right now. Uh, I'm going to do half inch drywall on the inside. I'm going to kill these offsets for right now because it's going to do it for us. Um, and I'm going to go with nine foot 1.125, nine foot one and eighth walls and uh, 16 inches on center. So what we're gonna do when we get started, I'm gonna start by this garage. These garage walls would actually be taller on this job so uh, and down on the slab. So I'm gonna start right beside it where I've got this little guideline. So what I'm gonna do at first is you can see, I can tab and change how I wanna do this wall. If I wanted to do a long framing, I'd be here. And actually I wanna be a long sheeting to be the outside of sheeting because I've got six inch walls on this drawing and the half inch that you're seeing going to the inside is the drywall. So in this case, the drawings are drawn at six inch. So in, what we do is we just keep on cruising around all the corners. Okay, no more one to one, figuring out what the start and end conditions are. So we'll just kind of go all the way around the house. So at the end, all we're gonna do is hit enter and it's going to produce all of our walls for us. Kind of a cut up house. But you'll see how fast we can produce the exterior walls in this house. So I'm going to end right here at the other side of this garage and just hit enter. And then I've got my walls. Okay. Uh, the drywall is off right now. If I was to go in and cut it on, you can see it added my drywall for me. But I like to keep the drywall off while I'm modeling walls. Okay, so the polyline tool is the first tool. I'm going to kill the... Uh... Okay. Polyline is the first tool. Second is we've uh, modified the header location. So let's just say that this dining room, I'm gonna select this wall and I'm gonna add a window in here. Um, we've also added the, this as a dialog box here. So standard would put the header just above the opening. We have under top plates would put it right under the double top plate or under first top plate. I had some jobs that had nine foot one and eighth walls that had eight foot openings. And the only way I could do that was to put the, go up into that plate, uh, first plate. So we've given you those options there. So let's start out with standard or actually, yeah, we'll start out with standard and say it's a nine foot wide, it's five foot tall, and it's six eleven for the rough header height. I'm putting a triple two by tens with a two by six on top and bottom of that. And I'll just see how it goes into x-ray mode here. And I can just simply choose the center and hit enter. So that's my standard header location where I can right click edit frame or window and change that to under top plates and you'll see it ponies it down below it um, or I could also uh, right click edit frame or window and say put it under the first plate if I so needed okay so that's the second feature is the header location uh, the next thing we've added is the uh, stacked opening so let's let's just say that this wall here I'm going to edit this framer wall and I'm going to say let's make it 12 feet even so we got a tall wall in the great room and so I'm going to select the wall and this time I'm going to put a door in and let's go with a three two by eight header, no plates, because I'm going to have a transom window right up above that. It's a six foot by six eleven door and um, we'll go ahead and add in a couple of jacks in there and then just snap where I want it to go. All right. So let's say that we had a 36 inch window that we want to put above it. I'm going to come in and just do a simple guide of 36 and I'm going to measure down to the floor. And that's 10, six and a quarter. Okay. So let's do a stacked transom, a three foot tall window in there. And so uh, in this case, uh, three, two by tens, we'll double jack that as well. Uh, same nine feet, but this time it's going to be three feet tall. And it was 10, six and a quarter, 10 foot, 6.25. And I'm going to choose that set too wide. That was a nine foot window. Let's do this again. So this time we'll go with a six foot, six foot wide window. 
and select the midpoint and you can see we have our nice uh, place the header height went up there let's edit that frame or window now when you're editing editing a window and you have uh, let's see in this case we're gonna change it to standard here we go all right so now we have stacked openings that we couldn't do before so that's a pretty cool feature all right um, one other feature that we've added is uh, gables, gable walls, you used to could not do anything. It, it had to be at least like three inches tall. You couldn't go down to zero. So we fixed that now. So let's do a regular framer wall. Uh, it's two by six. We don't need but a single top plate. Let's say we're just framing up to some rafters up there. So we're going to go with one stud to one stud, uh, half inch OSB on it. We don't need any offsets. We'll keep our drywall. We don't need any offsets. But we're going to change this to a gable wall. So we change that up in the type. Uh, I'm going to put zero for the height and a roof slope of 45 for a 12, 12, 12 pitch. So now if I come in here on top of this wall, let's just go right across the other side. I've got that nice gable that fits in there nicely. Okay, so that is a new feature where you're able to go down to zero. Of course, you can give it any heel height you want right in there, but in this case, we wanted it to go down to zero as if we had some rafters there. All right, then the um, next thing I want to do is the next new feature is we can now add openings and gables where it used to be you're limited to the height of the opening being the lowest part of the gable or the shed works both on the same way, uh, same way on both. So let's now we'll pick that. Let's say we're going to put in a, a, uh, a louver in there and we're going to go. Let's just do a simple. Uh, let's just do a two by four header in there. Keep it simple. But let's say that we've got a. 30 inch by 30, 36 inch uh, louver in there. And let's say the header height is at about five feet. And I'm just gonna choose right at the peak. And now we can see we've got openings in there. So that's very cool. All right, and then finally, uh, the move tools, when you wanna go and move a wall, you used to have to actually use the move tool within Framer because the coordinates were based off of global coordinates. It knew where it was in the model. So if you use Framer in the past and you've moved a wall and you went to edit it or add a window or door, you were pretty much screwed. You couldn't do it. So now with uh, when we've got this tool where you can move it, you could say move this wall out six feet. And when you add a window or a door to it, let's just add a window. We'll do um, back up to say six foot 11 height and just stick that anywhere. Now, if we were to move that wall back six feet, and I wanted to say edit this window, so I could say edit frame or window, let's say I wanted to make it five feet tall, it'll change without any problem. So those are the five new features of Framer 2022, and uh, thanks for watching, and, and give it a try, and shoot me an email if you have any questions. Thanks.